On the surface, the conversation between Bo-Katan and the armor may have seemed to be about unity and opening the society, but if you listen again to what she was actually saying, there was an entirely different subtext going on. Barely even subtext, it was basically the text. Sure, she said Mandalorians needed to walk the way together, and told Bo-Katan to take off her helmet, but it wasn't at all a speech about compromise and reconciliation. There wasn't some mutual acknowledgement of the need for growth, her focus was on how the Mandalorians had strayed from the way. The Mythosaur may have increased her resolve to unite the Mandalorians, but only unite them on her terms. There was no, we all must learn to live together. It was that, we're stronger together so everyone should start following what I believe. bo wasn't being told she had earned the right to remove her helmet if she so chose. She was being told that if she respected the armor, she will remove her helmet right then. The point here is about the character's agency. The lack of which that we've seen in The Mandalorian, especially from bo in this scene, stands in stark contrast to what we've seen from The Bad Batch all season, where a lot was done to highlight each character's agency, including Crosshairs. The armor recognizes how other Mandalorians see them, and bo refusing to remove her helmet with others would probably undermine attempts to unite, so she was commanded to remove it. It was purely practical. If this is ultimately the means and hierarchy under which we see Mandalorians reunite, they're setting themselves up for yet another splintering.